Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoy my drawing as I give you a brief history of Alice in Wonderland. A mathematician at Christ Church, Oxford, by the name of Charles Dodgson, first told his bizarre story to the daughters of Dean Henry Liddell on a boat ride on the Thames River. One of the boat's riders was the Dean's 10-year-old daughter, Alice. She loved the story and badgered Charles to write it down. So he did. And under the pseudonym of Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland was born. The story follows Alice chasing a white rabbit, who's running very late, into a surreal land where she meets the Mad Hatter, the Queen of Hearts, and other kooky characters. Like most children of his age, Walt Disney was familiar with the adventures of Alice through several of the books Carol wrote, including Alice's Adventures in Wonderland from 1865 and Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There from 1871. Walt's first cartoon series in Hollywood, The Alice Comedies, was a loose adaptation of the literary principle of a young girl who finds herself transported into another world. In this case, a live action girl into a con contour? <laughs> cartoon world. Walt adapted the original book for motion pictures several times, including a 1933 version intended as a vehicle for a live action Mary Pickford in a Technicolor animated Wonderland, and a full-length feature developed five years later with extensive artwork created by British illustrator David Hall. Mary Blair visually developed the idea in the late 1940s and provided the artistic foundation for the full-length animated feature. Alice in Wonderland is a 13th animated feature film produced by Walt Disney Productions in the Disney Animation Canon and was released to theaters on July 26, 1951 by RKO Radio Pictures. The film features the voices of Catherine Beaumont as Alice, also the voice of Wendy Darling in the later Disney film Peter Pan, and Ed Wynn as the Mad Hatter. Made under the supervision of Walt Disney himself, this film and its animation are often regarded as some of the finest work in the Disney Studio history, despite the lackluster, even hostile reviews it originally received especially in the UK. Through various drafts of the script, many sequences that were present in Carol's books drifted in and out of the story. However, Walt insisted that the scenes themselves keep close to those in the novel, since most of its humor is in the writing. Some scenes had to be cut from the film for various reasons. One scene deleted from the 1939 treatment occurred outside the Duchess's Manor where the fish footman is giving a message to the frog footman to take to the duchess saying that she is invited to play croquet with the queen of hearts. Alice overhears this and sneaks into the kitchen where she finds the duchess cook maniacally cooking and the duchess nursing her baby. The cook is spraying pepper all over the room causing the duchess and Alice to sneeze and the baby to cry. After a quick conversation between Alice and the Duchess, the quick-tempered cook starts throwing pots and pans at the noisy baby. Alice rescues the baby, but as she leaves the house, the baby turns into a pig and runs away. The scene was scrapped for pacing reasons. Another cutscene in Tugley Wood shows Alice talking with the White Knight, which was meant to be somewhat of a caricature of Walt Disney himself. Although Walt liked the scene, he felt it was better if Alice learned her lesson by herself Hence the song, Very Good Advice. Even though it was not an outright disaster, the film was never re-released theatrically in Walt Disney's lifetime. Instead, it aired every so often on network television. In fact, Alice in Wonderland aired as the second episode of Walt Disney's Disneyland TV series on ABC in 1954. That version was severely cut down to run only one hour. And now, to wrap things up, here's some fun trivia from aliceinwonderland.net. The music for Alice in Wonderland was provided by a 50-piece orchestra. In 1952, Oliver G. Wallace was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Song Scoring of a Musical Picture. Alice is composed of more than 350,000 drawings and paintings. From 1949 to 1951, 
More than 750 artists worked on the movie. 800 gallons of paint, weighing nearly five tons, were required to paint the animated frames. That's enough paint to cover the exteriors of 135 average-sized homes. That's a lot of paint, folks. More than a thousand different shades of watercolor were used to capture the mood of Wonderland. And that, too, is a lot of shade. And finally, the opening scene pays a small homage to the origins of the story by showing a rowing boat with Oxford's Christ Church College in the background. That's pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. And uh, check out these other cool Disney videos I made for you. I think you'll really like them. God bless.